Hello, hello, hello! Welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, I'm the man on the sticks. You got it. And we got fresh duds. That's Who right. dare mess with the tomb of Orion? The paddle has been put away for a larger member. <laughs> Big skull Tr bust. <laughs> yeah, the trident Minotaur stays. Minotaur heads. Trident stays. But yeah, we're we're the Minotaur now. That's cool. Fine. Fine. Oh, it's the ancient skull? Scale? What the yeah, I don't know. What is this? I don't know, dude. This is stuff. This All is right. something interesting. So I was just in this area, just yeah. like per chance. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think by this world. time they should know. But it, it's cool. What's the first one they watched, man? They, they need to go back to the beginning. Yeah, dude. Watch every, all 82 of them. Yeah, However, get on it. This is 82. Well, if they really were true fans, they would do so. so yeah, there. but are you a true fan if you just watch one? No, you're not. If you hit that sub button, you're the truest fan. <laughs> you're not a true fan. Just, what? Just the, turn the lights what up. What the hell happened there? Turn off the lights. Oh, let me. Can I light this one? I cannot light it's this one. It's just a pan. Sitting on a cement. Oh, there we go. Boom, dude. You are a Tomb Raider. Oh, shit. Oh, frick. I already swore. <laughs> the wall was Man. on fire. Well, this is why we're practicing until we get to the We're other. practicing. This is real life right here, Joni. Look, I found out you can like light these things. Oh yeah, and then you don't have to carry a stupid torch around. Well, no. I you wanna... were so gentle with that too. You're just like yeah. <laughs> gently placed it on the tip. All right, so I already scoped out like all the chests in this place. There's a ton via of the chests. Uh, via the eagle. We haven't been inside. It looks like a trap door. Does it? I mean, look at that. No, okay, we're maybe good not. actually. I'm really just looking out for snizzakes, dude, because they're all. Oh over yeah, the place. dude, snizzakes will be dropping in the snizzor. <laughs> I don't know what the snizzor is. Me neither. Oh, okay. But I'm afraid to find out if there's snakes in it. Yeah, because if there's snakes there, Jonas, they'll bite you. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jonas, let me tell you my story, dude. Oh, yeah, you were, Something's yeah, before we started, you're like, I want to tell you something later. All right, <laughs> Jonas. That's great. great Jonas, story. you're aware that I play Dungeons and Dragons. I do not keep that from the Crazy Towns listeners, right? Yeah, dude, I've, I've heard that you went and played some D&D yeah. before. So once a week, as an adult man, I go and play Dungeons and Dragons. Okay, is this, you know. That, as it soon as you let your guard down, there it was. <laughs> it was a snake. All right, I play Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, I have a group. I got like a, a level six character. You know, I'm still pretty new at it, but I enjoy it. Well, Jonas, I was so inspired after the last few play sessions that I have had, Jonas, that I was like, man, I really want an accurate representation of my character. What is this? What see? do you mean? Those are spikes, Jonas. Do you see this shit? Oh, wow. All right. Uh, so it's a trap door. An accurate representation. Like you're going to dress up? You're moving forward? Oh, I'm not going to dress up. There are snakes over there. Can I burn you? I think I can. There's a snake. Uh, So what I decided to... Ooh, okay, you sneaky stuffer. Yeah, there you go. There you go. All right, so what I decided to do, Jonas, is I commissioned an artist to draw my character from, okay. my, from my personal description. Okay. It's dark. So, you, like, you went online and found a guy who draws D&D &D characters? Yeah, I went on the fi Fiverr, and I found a guy that was willing to draw my character. Okay. Yeah. But, well, I mean, I'm sure it costs you more than five bucks, right? Because uh, you, you, they always start at five, and then it's like, it's like, if you just want the head, it's five bucks. If you want a whole body. How much would you pay, Jonas? Oh, zero dollars. <laughs> 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 so you've already paid more than I would pay. <laughs> Zero dollars. <laughs> I already told you before we started recording that you were gonna say that. But you I, said that I would say I never pay for that, what? like in the Jonas voice you used. I did. <laughs> I'm on fire, by the way. But uh, oh, that's the thing you need. Yeah, that's one of the things. Let me try to guess how much it costs. I was just gonna ask you to try to guess how much. I bet you you spent. Fifty dollars on it. Fifty bucks, not because you want a good art. You want a good rendition. I do want a very well done rendition of it. I'm just checking for snakes. Uh, higher. Ooh, shiz. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, let me ask you this: Is it what like up? 
head to toe, like a full drawing of a, of a character? Yeah, dude, it's a full body person of myself. Um, or my character. I don't know then, man. How much you spend? 225 225 What do you think? I'm ridiculous? <laughs> wow, you almost <laughs> said something else. No, dude, I was going to say ridiculous. Uh, I don't know, I man. Paid, I paid 80 bucks, dude. Okay, under like, hundred. But if it's a quality render, did, did you like send him a picture of your face so he can make the actual face look like you? Jonas, it, my character doesn't look like me. I play. A, look, <laughs> I guess I should have started led off with. Yeah, that. I thought it was supposed to look like I you. Yeah. I play. A, I play a female half elf bard. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> just, I mean, you're the half elf part, but just not a female. Wait, what? I'm joking. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, man. So like, eighty. You get bucks, it. Is that uh, what you not yet, but the, I've been keeping in contact with the guy. He's a nice guy. I don't know if English is necessarily his first language. Usually on Fiverr, it's not. But, I mean, I looked at some of his work, and it looks quality. He sent me some, uh, he sent me some, like, uh, priest stuff. What do you call that? Like a, a rough draft. Oh, like sketch-ups? Yeah, he sent me, like, a rough draft. I'll definitely let you see it when it's done. It's great. Yeah, it's all, I'm, dude, good for you, man. Like, I don't, I don't <laughs> think it's, you, I don't think man. it's, I don't think you're dumb for doing it. I just, it's just not my thing. Yeah, I know. Guys. What are Already. you gonna do? Like, take that and put it on a little placard in front of you when you play? Like, I might be that guy. <laughs> get, get, I, I get a, a heat press a shirt with like the picture on it for you. Well, you, Jonas, like, I play a female half elf, and when I'm sitting at the table. I don't look nothing like a female half. <laughs> so are you talking like a feminine voice? No, I don't do like, voices. I man. roll a D7 for the odds to poison the Minotaur. <laughs> no, I don't do that, Jonas. I mean, is, there isn't even a D7, is there? Uh, there is no D7. <laughs> no, there is a D8, though. Okay. But I, I <laughs> thank you for trying to make fun of my joy. I wasn't trying to make fun of anything. I was just asking you're if that's making, how you spoke. You're making fun of my joy, dude, and I'm cool with that. I'm making fun of your joy. You know, if something brings me no, happy, dude, that's I think like it's I great. I, dude, poke I am, fun at it. I like. am glad that you find something that you get to go do weekly, like I go play volleyball. Yeah, except mine is being sedentary, but <laughs> well, yeah, I don't. But it still works your brain, man. It does. You get to hang out with people you enjoy, or at least probably enjoy, I make. Yeah, some of them are, right? Yeah. And, uh,. You know, get to use your creative juices. Why you did? Yeah. So, like I said, level six female bard. If you got any female bard stuff you want to send me, uh, hit hit TNT up. So it takes a long the, time to level up, then, because you've been doing this for a while. Go! Oh, you see me almost get spiked. I did. Uh, I have been doing this for a while. Yeah. Like, so how long? Like. Like, so you don't even earn, like, a level a week, essentially. No. Far from that, sir. That's crazy talk you're talking there. Like, I don't, More spikes. Like, I don't know much about D&D in general. Yeah. Like, so I don't know if you guys are just on, like, an adventure and, like, it, you fight it, stuff every week. Or if, like, at one week you're just, like, hanging out and you're in the bar talking about uh, bar we, things. We've had episodes. I mean, episodes. We've had uh, parts of the campaign that are like that. It is basically everything you would hate about a story because it is uh, completely, like... In your own mind's eye, and it's all like story based, kind of. It's essentially like reading a book, but you make the story. Could you go away? Okay. It's like improv <laughs> storytelling? Really? How did I set myself on that? I don't know how that happened either. So it's like improv storytelling? Um, kind of. A person takes control. Uh, they are the DM, and they tell you basically. Uh, For those who don't know, that's a dungeon master. <laughs> and, and he tells you. Uh, like what the world is like and then you say okay my character goes to this location and then you ask the dungeon master what do i see here and then he tells you and then you interact with the world and the dungeon master pretty much controls all of the uh other people in the world besides obviously your character okay so for example he'd be like you stumble across a you stumble across a pub in the middle of nowhere you open the door and you see a gang of a gang of merry men everyone's drinking jolly having a good time but there's a certain dark substance a dark force in the corner that you don't understand and then you go so, I wander into the bar and walk over near the dark substance. What do I see? Yeah, kind of yeah. like that. Yeah, like that. Jonas. Okay, awesome. actually, you you just you told that like a good dungeon master. Actually, you ever think of getting into the business? <laughs> I should, uh, dude. I love storytelling. I I should. I do you? Be, yeah, dude. I like telling stories. I could <laughs> I could totally be a dungeon master. Oh yeah, dude. Maybe. 
Uh, Jonas, you want to go do some D&D? Sure, dude, let's go. Do you? <laughs> I'd probably wing it. Dude, they do it at this one comic book shop, and I was actually thinking about getting a second game going just because, like, I kind of want to play more than I do. Yeah? Will you, get, will you get confused between your two characters? There's a good chance of that. Yeah. There is a good chance of that. Not even going to lie to you, man. They're going to be like, oh, dude, I Sneaks. launched my level 22 bow, and they're like, bro, you're level 6. And you're like, oh. No, what man. day of the week's this other group go? Uh, just Saturday for my main group. No, no, no. The oh, the group. other group? Yeah. Um, I'm not sure. I got to I gotta find out. They were in transition last time I spoke to them, so I would have to find out. But I'd be more than willing to go with you. I don't know if you can just, like, walk in and be a DM. Probably but, not. No, but, uh. I, I could start a game, though. <laughs> you want to start a I'll game? I'll buy a DM guy, guy All dude. All right, fam, let's get I'll on. Write up, I'll write up some adventures, dude. Yeah, let's get up on the meetup.com, man. I need man. to just go I need to just go watch so I can understand. I don't know the ins and outs of it. Like, I, I got to have the general storytelling down, but. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you right now, it's definitely not as easy as it seems. No, it's not. Because I, I have tried to DM a game before, and it, did, it didn't work What was out hard about it for you? Um... Just being prepared for whatever the characters can think, because you're basically it's you and your mind against the six other people who are constantly trying to thwart you, or however many people are in the group, I should say. They're trying to thwart the dungeon master. Yeah, man, because they're just trying to get stuff. Like they want all the the secret weapons and the items, and they want to get one up on any enemies you throw in front of them because that's what they're supposed to do oh yeah i would have to see how it works like i'm sure i could be good at it if i like i just don't you have one loot key or lost key i just don't <gasps> understand the entire dynamic of it so i know i obviously you can't run in and just be like hey i'm gonna be the leader <laughs> no. they don't trust me man they don't no you got, you got no experience no. Either. that doesn't really <laughs> help nah, dude, I'd lie, man. And, uh, it, i'd it, be like oh yeah i ran dm circles shit. in jersey and it, it break it breaks immersion if you're not like proficient at it. Right. Oh yeah, I feel you. Because I've watched a bunch of sessions and I'm not proficient at it, and it showed when I tried to DM. I was a nervous wreck, dude, and I love like public speaking. I have no problem. It was doing just it. they were asking too many questions about stuff. Yeah, dude, it was like, all right, uh, all right, then I want to do this. What happens? I'm like, I don't freaking know, dude. <laughs> Leave me alone. Oh, so for example, like you walk up to the dark, you're like, "What do you see?" And I'm like, "You see a man in a hood, but he has his. You can you see he has a gold ring exposed on his finger." I walk up and see a little closer, and so what, what does the ring say? The guy snatches you by your neck and pulls you closer and asks you what you want from him, and if you have a problem with him, and you're like, "Yeah, dude, I do. Let's fight," and then bam, like that. No, not not like that at all. I, I mean, like you might have a plan for your story, which is good for a DM to do. You want to have a plan for your story and be like, all right, my plan is to get them to go and fight the dragon. Okay. And then everybody in your group is like, all right, uh, we're going to follow this elf or this dwarf until we find out where he's going. You'll be, like, you be like, wait, I don't want you to follow the dwarf. I want you to go fight the dragon. That's a lot of spikes, man. Yeah, dude. But, uh, yeah, it's just about, like getting the characters to do kind of what you wanted. Oh, want so you can say do. the elf walks into the room and closes the door and goes to bed. So now you're going to go find the <laughs> <laughs> You definitely can do that. <laughs> and then they could be like, okay, well, we're going to break into his house. And then you'd be like, okay, I guess you're going to break into his house. And now what's going to happen? What do they find when they get in there? The they, dragon. They kill the elf. Now what? You know, it can do so many different so things. You can do whatever you want. Yeah, they can be like, hey, I'm going to go to the, the bar or the bar and jerk off in the corner. What happens? Oh, that's real cute. Real cute, Carl. You're going to go jerk off in the corner. Oh, wait, now the guards are after you. Now that guy's in jail. What do you do with that? Now you got to get your friend out of jail. You can't just leave him in jail. It won't be fun for him. Well, it's his fault for jerking <laughs> off in the corner. <laughs> It's like when you go out with your friends to the bar and he starts acting a fool. You yeah, just, ah, kids. Well. That's what happens when you jerk off in the corner. You go to jail. I get all these treasure chests. I can't ego bear in here. Yeah, dude. But I, I don't. Oh, okay, I didn't see it again. But yeah, I don't see do, any around. How do you get out of here? Uh, I don't know. There was definitely a way. Um, I could have probably well, gone all the way around, but. Yeah, if, I mean, did you get the one thing you were supposed to get in here? Yeah, I got the skill point. I'm actually trying to find my way out. I'm following the trail of dead snakes. Oof. I can't go that way. Follow a trail of something. Trail, trail, I'm yeah, not well, that's that cool, joke. man. I'm glad that you did that. 
<laughs> I never really thought about like commissioning an artist to do something, and it was within my 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 price range, I guess. I would yeah. definitely. There was some guys when they're like four hundred dollars. I'm like, dude, to draw a fake me. Yeah, I'm like, chill out, man. <laughs> I'm not paying that. Yeah, this is where I came in. All right, cool. <laughs> four hundred dollars on a site called Fiverr. Yep. No, yeah, I'm not paying four hundred dollars for nothing for no one. Tell you that much. Yeah, I don't pay four hundred dollars for anything either. Why are there dead men out here? Uh, the sun was rising when all you right, came let's out. See. Dude. Did you I get all the all things? I got all the things, Johnny. Oh, you're such a traveler. Hell yeah, dude! I'm efficient. What are we going to do now? Um, I want to go fight the most dangerous game, Jonas. You have a ability? I do. I'm going to get them in a second here. We are going to go fight the world's most dangerous game. We're going after this. The I, oh, yeah, you told me like I did not literally 20 you, episodes ago that you were going to show me that. And I we didn't never did. tell you it was a bear either. <laughs> you just guessed it. Well, okay, well... <laughs> Whatever it is, you it, told me 20 episodes ago you wanted to show me it. I do want to show and it to you. we haven't seen it yet. It's going to be easy now. You're like level 35. Yeah, dude. That's what I'm hoping for because it... You walk in, you just rip off your chain mail, it falls over. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why would I do that? Because that's how Cassandra rolls. Why would I rip off my mail? That would make me more susceptible to the oh, bear's to, attacks. Oh, to flaunt your sexuality at it. What? Jonas, don't be weird. <laughs> This is my Well, you said it's not a bear. Don't make googly eyes at my avatar in the game. That's yeah, I won't. I won't Google anything. That's weird, dude. Did you ever cyber, Jonas? <laughs> Did you ever cyber? C cyber sex? <laughs> we were just like, hey, dog, what are you wearing? <laughs> you wouldn't say hey, dog, to a girl. No. Would you call a girl dog? Call her a... I mean, I guess if we were homies. What's up, dog? <laughs> no, dude. No, but you. Uh, what? Yeah, absolutely, Jonas. I'm a freaking deviant. What do you want from me? Where's the thing? Well, I mean, at? cybering is like pre-sexting. It really is, dude. I mean, it's just like, basically, text but messaging on your phone is AOL Instant Messenger on the go. <laughs> I mean. It really is the same thing. I mean, it is. I mean, if you want to use that as the gold standard, the AOL Instant Messenger. Dude, the aim was the bomb back in the day. It beat out all the others. ICQ. <laughs> yeah. Like, ICQ was the bomb, and then all of a sudden, everyone's like, oh, aim? Everybody's got aim. I wonder who, like, originated the idea of just sending texts back and forth. I mean, probably, like, Morse code would probably be. It's basically yeah, Morse yeah, well, I mean, code Yeah, you got to think, go. as soon as the internet was invented, you had email. <clears throat> and that was r ridiculously amazing because, like, the only other way you could before that was sending a letter. Oh, so email actually f was the originator. Yeah, because you could email back and forth. Um, yeah. Or was it Morse Like, code? I remember when my grandmother got the internet and I was just like... Wait, I can, like, message this person, and they can get it right away, and they can send me right back, and we don't have to, like, send anything through the mail or anything like that? And <laughs> I was a dumb child, but, you know. <laughs> no, dude, we were just, we, we were just, like, uh, you know, early humans, man. <laughs> what do you mean? I can cook this over fire? Maybe yeah, right? I was like, wait a second. I don't have to use a stamp. Yeah. This is free. Prince, Prince of Sparkle steps you. You're pissing me yeah, off right I had, now. Yeah, I had some pen pals back in the day. I tried to get some pen pals. Pen pals? Yeah, dude. Remember? People write letters to each other. What? No. Yeah, dude. It was in, like, the Weekly Reader magazine. Get the hell out of here. What the hell is a pen pal? Where, like, you would, you'd find somebody, and then you'd write them letters, and they'd write you letters back. What? <laughs> this was a thing? Yeah, dude. I came across a bunch of them that I, like, had in a box. Like on paper? Yeah, dude. <laughs> What? Yeah. Were they in jail? <laughs> yes. <laughs> all these, all of them were in jail. Were you making googly eyes with an ex-con, Jonas? Yeah, dude. They, they disguise themselves as someone your age, and they're just like, oh, just kidding. I'm a 45-year-old oh, crackhead. <laughs> yeah, that's the original catfish. Yeah, right? It was. Yeah, oh, they're just like, shit, man. Oh, I just want to see it. Let's do it. Yeah. He's, he's, he's right there, man. Oh, he is a bear, you son of a bee. Yeah, he's a big boy, though. 
Look at how fast oh, he is! Jonas, he's so big! Oh my goodness. Yeah, you gotta heal. Um, yeah, I gotta run for my GD life. Oh, wow, poison dude, with arrows. Dude, he is so big. He's level 20 freaking 7, and he's still, what is 37? Oh, oh he, he must always scale to so much ahead of you. I don't know, Because he dude. wouldn't have been 37 before when he found him, would he have been? Jonas, he's not getting poisoned. Man. I don't know what he was before because he was so big and I was on my horse and he chased me and I ran yeah, I don't like know a bee. You're hitting him with those arrows. Oh, you oh you have to be in the little the circle. You have your um super attack. Do I? Oh, he stood up, dude. dude he he's is. Like he's, he's not foot like tall. he's not like the others, Jonas. That's the thing. He's not like the others who put. Oh, man. oh my goodness! Dog, this, I'm hooked on the brothers. The brothers. I don't know if I'm, I'm hurting this man. On the brothers. The brothers. It's from the show, Jonas. Jo okay, look, I'm going. <laughs> there's, no, show. there's no way I'm killing this. No, thing. no, not at level 33. Holy sh! Jonas. Hey, what's up? Okay, he can't leave this area. Thank God. Oh, so he's trapped by a circle. Holy But you Moses. also can't hurt him unless you're in the circle. Yeah, have, have you noticed that too? Yeah, because his, his bar was gold until you walked in the circle and that became red. What's the problem? Who's talking to me? Somebody's going to come help you fight the bear? I don't think so. Oh, the bear, the bear patrol's here. Yeah, you don't freaking say. I want to see what's in this cave, though. Can I uh, do that? Oh, he's sleeping. If you drop down, he won't notice you. He won't. Well, that's the best way to do it. The well, most, you the know most, what, Jonas. The most Jonas. flamboyant way possible. Let's see what's in here, though. Let's just get in here, dude. He won't follow. He's a, he's a beast. Hey, I'm in your cave! I'm stealing all your stuff! Oh, wow. You're stealing his things. You can't even steal hey, it Hey, guess all. what? <laughs> I slow <found> time! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dude. <laughs> he's mad. He slowed him he down. He can be mad. Dude, he's scary. All right. I'm just trying to steal. I want that. I need that. Whatever that is, I need it's it. It's like right going to be like a dollar. I need it. He's so oh, big. Oh, you got precious gems. All right. Dude, dude, look. Look. I'm sorry, dude. I left one in there, Jonas. I really want it, but I'm not going to get it. Yeah, We're you can't hurt him yet. Oh my sweet Jesus! Oh, he Remini sees it. Climb it up, dude. Climb that wall. Nope, 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 nope. Just gonna escape. Just gonna You're go just in. Ducking over and over. Okay. I know, dude. You're I'm dodging, Jonas. It's dodging. Hey, princess. Yeah, she's ready <laughs> to go. All right, Jonas. Next episode. All right. <laughs> that is all time we have today for Bear oh, Fighter 2200. Oh my God. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe while you're at it. Just lie to one of your friends for us. Tell them to come hang out. Tell them to come see us. For Jonas. And TNT Dynamite. We are, are uh, out. Oh.